Hugo Boss. For fashionistas, the name is known for high-end men's suits and accessories. But before Hugo Boss became a fashion staple, he made the uniforms for these guys. Hugo Boss, a German tailor, founded his textile factory in 1923, mainly producing police and postal uniforms, work clothing, shirts, jackets, raincoats, and sportswear. Like many German manufacturers, Boss joined the Nazi party in 1931. For a bit of context, that's two years before Adolf Hitler came to power and burned the Reichstag, and eight years before he invaded Poland. Hitler was not yet the monster we know him as today. In 1932, Boss began manufacturing Nazi brown shirt stormtrooper uniforms. Uniforms for the Hitler youth and the infamous black SS uniforms, though contrary to what many believe, Boss did not design them. Once Hitler's true fascist machinations were revealed, Boss did not back out. In fact, it appears he was an enthusiastic supporter of Hitler and his wartime policies and had a picture of himself and the dictator hanging in his apartment. His factory directly benefited from slave labor, using around 140 Polish concentration camp victims, most of them women, and an additional 40 French prisoners of war. Many of these workers eventually died at Auschwitz and Buchenwald. After the war, Boss was classified as a Nazi activist, supporter, and beneficiary. He was hit with a hefty fine, stripped of his right to vote, and banned from owning or running a company, though he later won an appeal for a less severe punishment. Boss died in 1948, just three years after the war ended. The Hugo Boss Luxury Fashion House hasn't been affiliated with the founder's family for decades and only discovered the Nazi connection in 1997 when Swiss banking records were unsealed. It later agreed to contribute a fund that compensated former forced laborers. Stay curious, my friends.